Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In this video, I'm going to do a 10 minute watercolor painting, nice and quick. It is in real time, although I did work for about five more minutes beyond the original 10 minutes, and that portion of the video I will time lapse so that it's just a little more sped up than in real time. But if you want to follow along, you're welcome to do so. I encourage you to try it out. Just see what you can do. Have fun with it. 10 minutes is not too much time. So you can try and just get into a regular practice doing something and feel that sense of accomplishment for making a finished product. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I am starting out with my size three round tip brush and using the black here. And I don't have a pencil outline sketch with this and I don't on any of the 10 minute paintings just because it's meant to be quick lay some paint down and, and finish something as quick as you can. But if you wanted to take a little bit of that time up front to do a quick, very light outline sketch with uh, maybe a 2H or 4H graphite pencil, you are certainly welcome to do that. Uh, I just try to pay attention to the general placement of of things and proportions uh, from the reference image. The reference image is from unsplash.com. It is linked in the description. Uh, wonderful copyright free photos on there, but it's always nice to give the photographer credit. So it's very hard to tell starting out what this is going to be, but it is kind of a portrait of a wolf howling. And so I have that first line that I laid down of paint is meant to be the eye. And then I kind of just sort of approximated where the nose would be and went from there. And again, since this is a 10 minute painting and I didn't have an outline sketch to ensure accurate proportions, I just kind of went for it. It did wind up turning out decently. I think you can tell what, what it is by the end. So um, I did spend a little bit of time up front here, kind of really trying to make sure that placement of the nose and the eye, since those were two of the main features were fairly accurate and, and laying in that paint. So, so some of this upfront stuff where I'm just working with the black and blocking in the eye, nose and mouth uh, took up a decent portion, uh, not quite the first half of the 10 minutes, but uh, took up about that much time. So I'd say around three to four minutes. started out fairly light for the mouth so very watered down paint so I could just make sure that if I that it did seem terribly wrong <laughs> as far as appearance at first then I could uh, essentially blot it up with a uh, clean brush and water but it was looking okay so then I went back in and laid in some darker color And I made sure to maintain the white space on the paper for that tooth that is sticking out. You'll see that in a moment here. You can already sort of see me working around that little protruding white spot for the tooth. There's not really much to say about this portion just because it's essentially blocking in that black color but once I got that portion done I wanted to create the sort of silhouette outline of the wolf's face and head by uh, doing a fairly dark background and the idea was have it be kind of foresty galaxy type colors and uh, so then it would ultimately create the shape of the wolf's head through the background colors and that contrast rather than the opposite of painting in all the colors of the head. I thought it would have more contrast and pop a little more with a fairly dramatic abstract type background. So that's what you see here. And I am using that size six round brush now, which has become another 
favorite and standard in my paintbrush repertoire or collection. So it, it's, it's lovely for uh, putting in some of these, blocking in some colors, and then you can still add, uh, get some nice sort of brush-like texture. And I'm doing that a little bit for the fur, obviously, instead of just a really hard flat edge for the outline around the, the wolf's head, I wanted to have a bit of that fur kind of coming through on the edges because it's, you know, fur doesn't have an even straight flat cut off. Now oh, it's starting to look a little wolfy. So basically after creating the, the outline, so I would have the shape of the wolf's head, then I start really laying in color, lots of water, lots of paint. So the, the paintbrush is pretty saturated and then just really going in and having fun with the wet on wet technique here. You will see, especially in a little bit when I start adding some more color. So yeah, there's the Payne's Gray. The blue I'm using is ultramarine blue. Uh, the, I mean, the blue I was using before this current Payne's Gray. And I was thinking it'd be fun to kind of put a sort of foresty tree type thing in. And a little later, I decided I didn't want it to be quite as pronounced. So I, I went a little more abstract and sort of painted over them, but there's still a hint of those types of shapes left. So it's, it's kind of fun. You can just, especially when you're doing these quick paintings, you can kind of make decisions on the fly and whatever hits you uh, in the moment is what you can go with. And if you decide something's not working, it's pretty easy, especially if you're still working wet and uh, so quickly where you can work wet into wet, you can just kind of go over it and, and let those colors flow into each other and sort of do their own thing as, as watercolor is wont to do. back in on the other side. Adding a little bit of a lizard and crimson, crimson in there to get some sort of pinky red and, and a little bit of a purplish hue. Of, obviously, if I'm working red into blue, some of that will turn a little purpley. And then green and oh gosh, I have to break myself of the habit. I realized a few vi videos ago that I have been calling that the wrong green all this time. It is not hooker's green. It is, I'll, I'll have to think of it, but yeah, it's more of a teal type color. Viridian, viridian green is, is what it is. There we go. So there you see, I kind of painted over the trees a little bit to make them not as pronounced, but you can still see kind of their somewhat silhouette, somewhat kind of tree-ish suggestions of the shape. And actually it's kind of fun to have that super dramatic white, almost white silhouette of the wolf, but I did want to add a few details in there uh, just so you get more of a sense of, of the ear and a little bit of the fur, some more around the eyes and the mouth a little bit of that shadowing. I didn't have enough time in this first 10 minutes to really get too much into it, but just to add some hints of it. The browns I'm using are burnt umber, which is that fourth one up from the bottom on the left side of my palette. And then also the uh, Burnt Sienna is a really orangey type brown. I used that a couple times as well. I realized I'd made a little line by accident, so I kind of blotted that up. And I realized I had about a minute left, so I went ahead and started 
writing the signature, I want to give myself plenty of time. Sometimes that signature, because you have to get your brush to a very fine point and have the exact right ratio of water and paint on there. If you have too much paint, it's too thick and won't apply very well and you'll have this gloppy kind of signature. If it's too watery, it's going to have a really fat signature, I guess. So, so I went ahead and quickly finished that off and that really was just under 10 minutes, about 10, 10 seconds, 15 seconds shy of 10 minutes. So there you go. And now we're going to get into that time lapse portion where I did work for about five more minutes just to add a little more detail. Some of that shadowing, I'm using more Payne's Gray and, and Burnt Umber here and there. Uh, and then I, in a little bit, started using some white gouache paint to add kind of a star-like effect, or it could be snowflakes, depending on, on your own taste or your own interpretation. So after adding those few more details, you will see me kind of flicking the paintbrush to get the, the white on there. And there is the final product. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe as well. I would be very grateful for that. Until my next video, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. God bless, and I'll see you soon.